Lost Alone Episode 2, the daddy, also known as Paparino. Paparino. George has stopped suffering. He doesn't remember anything. He is in a familiar house, but his memory is completely blurred. So just, are we, we're still actually playing as George? Dude, George, your time is up, dude. A gold look to it now? Yeah, it's like, like half blonde, half white. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> it's a Coca-Zola, you figured it out. Present. After discovering the tragic truth, George continued to wander in his mind, imprisoned in the limbo of his mistakes. Every day he was forced to relive Laura's death. Oh yeah, maybe we can learn more about Rabbit Woman, you're right. Every day he felt that pain as the first time. Every day George forgot what he had done, and he relived everything to remember. Like on purpose? And one day he woke up! This music right out. He was no longer in Laura's room. Finding himself in a completely dark room. Is this from Cats? <laughs> George, I've finally forgotten the pain. <laughs> what an intro. Freaking feel, feel like a Nolan movie or something. Hey, new house! <laughs> Yeah, where, where's the Chris Nolan bomb? Um, excuse me? Okay, I was just like, there's somebody here with me. <laughs> but I think it's just because there's like a billion light sources in here. Paparino. Mummy still hasn't come out of my room. I've heard her crying for two days now. She won't even come out to eat. I'm very worried. Dad is also very sad. <laughs> Maybe more angry. But it's not my fault. I had nothing to do with what happened. I'm so sad too. Yeah, that's what they all say. This looks like... <laughs> Picked up doesn't matches. Oliver, are you being a little stink bug? Oh, baby. Here. Let me love you. Oh, my little stink bug. Where are the posters? I wonder if this is going to take place even earlier. Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Let's please see an Evil Dead poster. No, he, he already ate his food. He didn't get any of my corn dogs. Ground floor bathroom key. Three children. Why is this so loud? Captain Coca-Zola. Look who it is. The little Coca-Zola. He's still awake. He was sleeping. He's awake again. He saw I was eating, so he's just like, Oh, I'm awake! How about that? What the hell is this? The Tree of Sentence? Ball one? Well, like a billiards ball? Oh, nice. Cabinet key. Find the valve to gush the pipes. He's a Pomeranian. Well, well, well. Looks like we're both awake at the same hour, B, and I noticed you have a corn dog there. No reason. There's a storm outside, so immersive. Ooh. So I guess we're picking up billiards balls in this one. What would it say? Oil lamp. Oil lamp guides you in the dark, but the duration is limited. To refill it, you need to keep equipped. Four demons. Hello. 
Hello, you've reached Oliver. Hello? It doesn't work. What are you talking about? It was just working. Oliver, you don't know how to use a phone. Oh God, I was looking away. Did that fall from the ceiling? So what? Okay, her hand, her arm. Oh, it's like I got sawed off or try to. Her arm and her torso, her split. Ooh, the bones. This guy didn't even react. He's just like, <sighs> like he's just sweating. He distracted me from the jump scare, but that's okay, Oliver. So she got like a key in her or something? Oh, it was in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was here checking her freaking insides. It's literally just holding it in her hand. I did keep the pizza, but no, I, nothing happened. Game saves. In Lost Daddy, you can save your game progress by interacting with lecterns. That is aggressive writing. So are we in like in a hotel? Every day is the same. Take the carcasses, cut them up, and put them in the cold store. You wait for customers, sell the goods, go upstairs, sleep, and start again. Every fucking day, the same story. I'm tired, Christina. I'm tired. I need to turn this life around. Yours, George. What? Well, I'm assuming they're animals, not actually humans. Shh, it's okay. Cover your ears, Oliver. We don't... We're not talking about animals. This is still George, but I don't know when it's taking place quite yet. But I guess he's a butcher? Yeah. But it looks like we're in a hotel. Yeah, are we making meat pies like in Ravenous Devils? Old room. Just a random billiards ball. For the crowbar. Chapter one, suspended love. Kanzo was a simple person, a simple person in love with life and with Yoko. He would have done anything for her beloved. Sweeney Todd style, exactly. Hey, if anyone here likes Sweeney Todd, there's a game called Ravenous Devils, which is basically the same concept, and it's $5 on Steam, and it's so sick. It's like a restaurant management game, but it actually has like a story. That's another great $5 game that is so worth it. Um, He would even have been willing to offer him his own soul. His love for Yoko was as great as the woman's revulsion for Kanzo was great. But the man would not stop listening to his heart. Yoko, tired of Kanzo's insistence, decided to give him a chance. What would you be willing to do for me? The woman asked. Anything, Yoko. Then cross the, sus the suspended bridge and bring me back... Bring me Black Lotus Flower. If you will do this for me, I will be yours. Kanzo didn't let that be repeated twice. The next day he set off across the suspension bridge. What are you doing? Oliver's trying to slap my hand. What? Are you trying to turn me into a carcass? <laughs> mm. Like Diner Dash for a horror set. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, he barks. Not much, though. You got hooked on it because of me? Oh, yay! That game is so worth it. What? Oliver, there's no corn dog residue.
Guardian of Nightmares. That's pretty cool. I'll just stop. He put keeps putting his paw like right next to the freaking alt and the Windows key. And I feel like he's gonna stop it! What is wrong with you? I move his paw away and he's just like, nope, and immediately moves his paw back. The fuck? I thought I saw his face. Yeah, what is that? The cloud of love. <laughs> He's gotten addicted to hitting keys now. He thought my reaction to when he hit the right arrow key was funny, so he's like, I gotta keep doing that. Chapter 2, Suspension Bridge. Having reached the foot of the suspension bridge, Kanzo began to lose his hopes for love. Only when I arrived in front of the majestic work of God did I realize that Yoko's request was impossible to fulfill. The suspension bridge was not simply an impassable bridge connecting two mountains. The suspension bridge was literally suspended. A huge stone construct- like the- Freaking em Angel Island. <laughs> you got a taste for the keyboard chaos. You just thought it was so funny. Like that, did you? One day he's gonna learn Alt F4. Like, he he's gonna be hitting the Alt key, and then he's gonna be reaching over, and I'll be like, what are you doing? And then all of a sudden, all my programs are shut off. And he laughs at me. The suspension bridge literally spent at a huge stone construction, the work of some prankster god float- That's Oliver! Prankster god over here. Floating in the air more than a hundred meters above the ground. When Kanzo's smile of joy was turned into an expression of resignation, a shady figure made his appearance. Are you Kanzo? Thundered the shady figure. The lofty voice of the mysterious one flashed out from the large hood that entirely covered his face. Yes, it- it's me, stammered Kanzo, intimidated. Are you ready to receive grace? The high-sounding man continued. I gotta stop with these dual shadows. Murdrum? What's a murdrum? I don't have books. Cold room key? That's downstairs. Another billiard ball. Another billiard ball? Christina, you and that baby will drive me crazy. I'm not asking for much from you. I just demand some order in this house. This room is always a mess. I hate asymmetry, you know that. I hope I don't have to repeat myself again. When I return, I want the two rooms to be identical. Don't forget to light the fireplace with the heirloom. Heirloom. I want that blue light to light up both rooms. The special lighters in the child's room. The blue flame. Since 1843, our family's handed down the Golden Lighter from generation to generation. What makes this artifact special is its ability to produce a blue flame. Legend has it that this flame is the will of the wisp of the lighter maker's spirit. The reality is less fascinating. The presence of sulfur in the flint would trigger this particular phenomenon. Oh, get over yourself. Even Oliver's judging. Alright, so there's five books. That's in in the murder room. Murder room with the M. Oh, with the because it's backwards. Oh, and then so so one of these is not like the other. <laughs> Stairway. Well the cold room is downstairs. Oh, and then the paintings. Okay, five books, five paintings. Cats in mud. Elsa's room's like in a basement kind of setting. What is this? 
Cabin is blocking a passage. Christina's office is super south. Okay. So Christina and Elsa's room are way in the creepy parts of this place. Wait a minute. Christina's the person who works at the front desk. Yeah, that's Evan, so I can play Revenant's Devils in bed. I know, that's what I want to do. Ever and ever. I cannot wait till I find a crowbar. There's so much for me to crowbar. <laughs> the hell was that? I have nothing to weigh. The sink is clogged with acid. Something is needed to unclog it. You put something... I have nothing to weigh. You sure you do. Excuse me, body, you're in my way. <laughs> Must have missed something upstairs then. So we're just gonna casually just not say anything about the body. Here, maybe there's something in one of the bodies. Is there a plunger upstairs or something? Oh, this wasn't... Oh, this was locked and now it's open. Love. Oh, God. <laughs> B is for this very surprising turn of events. Oh, love. A pure and strong feeling capable of uniting anyone by eliminating all differences. Love. A feeling as unique as hatred. This is Kylie Minogue. That's Cammy, you know. George was a good and humble person. As humble as his old job, butcher. Get you out of my head. I love this song. Days in the butcher shop was marked with amusing regularity. Until June 20, or yeah, 1949, when on the warm morning of that summer. Wait, so when did the other game take place? Like 50 years later? Because that was at least 1994. She entered his butcher shop in his life, Christina. Theirs was love at first sight. Does this doesn't make any sense. A pure, strong, and overwhelming love like you see in the movies. Was he like 70 in the other game? Love that blossomed a few months later into marriage. But love is something sometimes not enough. Well, because in the first game, it, it the only date we saw was 1994, and that's when Hannah died. 
Their greatest wish was to have a child. They tried for years, but George could not fulfill their wish. I really love these games, games cutscenes. As this contributed to plunging the man into an abyss of depression. Just like with the colors and the music. Such a nice vibe, and then it just goes back to game. It's just like, well. Game is saying love is murder. Yeah? Christina. I put an electronic lock on the door of the slaughterhouse. I don't want our children to come and play in here. You need the code follow the order of the pig cuts. You done? Never. So like the red ones? Well, cause... Okay, so that connects to the other area. Picked up pork liver. So do we put that on the other scale then? So like this? So like... What do they mean the order? Well, I don't know what the order is. Head is four. Picnic is one. Loin is nine. Bacon is two. Hawk is seven. So is that the order? Or would the order just be like one, two, four, seven, nine? Try both. Love is like a box of chocolates, is it? What about this painting? Man with a cigar. I was about to say, where's the cigar? But I see it. This, this is man with cigar. I feel like there's so much other shit happening than just him with a cigar. Okay, Oliver, can you believe this shit? Four, one, nine, two, seven. Ugh. Ouch. So is it just an order? One, two, four, seven, nine. Ugh. Well, I don't know the order then. Well, what do we have? Because I thought it was just me, like, focus on the red ones. We have pork liver, but that doesn't, that's not even on here. I can't even put it back on the scale, so I'm, like, trapped in here until I can figure out the puzzle. Casket in the bathroom? Okay. Banana, 
Oh, one, two. Oh, okay, so you hover. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Okay, head is one. Picnic is two. Loin is four. Bacon is five. And hawk is three. That means... I love puzzles. <laughs> Manfish with cigar. That'd be way more accurate. I love you so much. He doesn't care. Okay, head. Okay, four. Picnic is one. Hawk is seven. Loin is nine. And then bacon is two. So it is mostly the same. It's just freaking just seven. Seven freaking get gets you. Okay, four, one, seven. I should reload my game and so I just don't die. Yes. Not yes. <laughs> Why was she backing it up like that? Ma'am. Where's the power room? Oh my god, look at all this. Find the valve, put the books, weigh the liver, unclog the sink, restore the power. Wait, where's the, the stairs? There's no stairs? So everything should be down here? Casket in the bathroom. That's right. Got a problem with backing it up. I... Oh, was that her? I just... I was just concerned, like, why she would be doing this. Like, fix the sink in the bathroom upstairs. Knob of a faucet. Upstairs? The place that... Oh my god, he's got a long neck and really long fingernails. Oh god. That is cr that is a weird design. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's the stairs. It had, like, the evil dead neck. Or the Henrietta neck. Elephants and pigs. Oh shit, 7519 for the light? 75194. God, they really like sevens and fours in their puzzles. Number of pierce, 75194. We have a where. Got a ball just on the floor. Is this gonna be really. Well, it's, it is called Daddy, but like, how kid themed is this gonna be? Is like, we, yo, we can't have kids. Oh my god! So it is gonna continue. I did notice that was her, but I was also like... Yeah, Oliver laughed at me. But I was also unsure, because I would like this, and I got scared. <laughs> so we're gonna learn more about the rabbit woman.
Chapter 3, Suspended Grace. Kanzo was increasingly uneasy about this mysterious figure, but having nothing more to lose, he moved his head in acceptance, confirming the unknown man's request. My name is Gen Genpaku. I am the designer of the suspension bridge, said the shady figure. What if I'm right woman all along? What if it's probably, it's probably Christina. It's, it's probably my wife, and then whatever happened with, chap in chapter one, followed her, him. But none of this makes sense if they met in, like, 49. And, like, how old are these people? Anyway, Oliver is so happy. You want to reach the Black Lotus, crossing the bridge. You will first have to do something for me. At that point, the fire of hope, which was slowly running out of fuel in Kanzo's heart, flared up again. I will do whatever is necessary, said Kanzo. At that point, Genpaku brought his bony hands close to the hood that covered his head, and revealing the unknown, showed his true form. From the hood peeped a hideous face completely red. Genpaku was a demon from hell, wandering the earth in search of it for amusement. Love for love, said the demon. Daddy scares me more and more. The other day, Alberto came to our house. Every time Dad sees him, he gets angry and goes crying in his special room. He says I'm not... It's not true, but I feel it. I don't know why Alberto makes him so angry. Maybe it reminds him of someone. Anyway, I don't think Alberto will visit us again. Mom got so angry when she found out about Dad's man with a sack. What? Is that a phrasing problem, or does he really have... Someone he calls man with a sack. <laughs> I don't think talking about Santa. Why that face? I'm just concerned. Oh! Is that gonna be our monster for this? We're getting way more energy things. Like, are they expecting me to run? Wait, he's, the butcher stopped chasing you, but... Kitchen key. <laughs> right, that's what I was wondering. Like, I was being chased? Unless they mean literally... Like, I got chased when he saw me, and then I ended the chase the second it started because I was closing the door. Is he still here? Oh, maybe he just despawns. He didn't even notice me. You defused the bomb. There was a bomb? 
Like, he was just- he walked away from me, like, he was... He was just inspecting the... the place. There was no chase. This is just a big mis misunderstanding. Hey, there's the plunger. I always keep my plunger in my kitchen. Most people do this, like, <laughs> there's a kitchen plunger and a bathroom pl plunger. Picked up neck? Guess I picked up a neck. It's so dark in here. Do you like the Easter eggs? Do not give the rose to Alberto. I don't get it. I don't get the joke. It can't be unclogged. You need to unblock the pipes. Do you get the joke? Hopefully, Ponto. We don't know yet. Yeah, the floor corpse is gone. Maybe she's she became the butcher. You're always blinking with sleepiness, and then the jump scare wakes you up. Collecting a skelly. My own flute skelly? Suspended heart. Confused by the demon's words, Kanzo asks for clarification, Oliver. The words of the servant of the underworld cause a great sense of anguish in the man. You want to obtain love, you must bring love. A life for a life. Bring me the heart of those who love you to obtain the heart of those who will love you. Oliver, don't get any ideas. Don't be bringing anybody my heart. As I love you. This emblematic sentence was immediately clear to Konzo. The only person who had ever really loved him was his mother. With a heart swollen for with sadness, the man decided to accept Genpaku's request for sacrifice. That very evening, Konzo took advantage of the darkness to make the sacrifice. Despite the moral dilemmas that plagued him... Between his blood-stained hands, the man clutched the still-beating heart of his victim. Oh my god, you guys, I forgot I had soda. Sorry, mom, I got swiped right. No! No girl's good enough for you. He's like, I'm a dog. <laughs> Too late, it's already happening. No, Oliver, don't do this to me. I love you. He's shaking his head. So do I plunge the bottom of the thing? It's like I gotta look both ways before I before I go anywhere in this game. I was tense going into the room. And as soon as I closed the door, I was just like, oh, okay, we're safe in here. And this pig. Plunge the butcher. That acid just took my plunger. Living room key. Is that upstairs? <laughs> pig in the room. How is he making that sound? Nah, 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 nah. Don't. There's. Don't worry about. It. There's no like. There's no acid residue on the key or nothing. It's totally safe to grab with your bare hands. Go to the basement, check the meter. Why? I don't even remember where the basement is. I do. 
sink full of acid was clogged. Yeah, I don't know. You think that the acid would break down whatever it's clogging? But maybe not in Italy. Oh shit! No! I too like to go to, to basements in my jump scares. He's really mad that I closed the door on him. Hey. Okay. Oh man. This again? See you upstairs? What do you mean, see you upstairs? What the fuck? Put the billiards balls in their place? Oh, thank god we have a bag. I'll put them in their place, alright. God, why, why are these jump scares so goofy? Like, who the f- <laughs> You know what's scary? Watching human beings flail around with their limbs. That's really funny. I mean, scary. Not funny. What happened? She, like, flailed. She was like Phoebe from Friends. Christina, 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 Christina. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to your husband? I, who gave you everything. I found Alberto's letter. Now I understand why everyone in town is looking at me. Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I don't hear them laughing behind my back? They call me the horned pig man. Nobody believes that's my son. Nobody. And I'm supposed to believe it? Christina, 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 what a big disappointment you are. No longer yours, George. I, wait, none of this makes sense to me. So... Nobody believes that's his son? And I'm supposed to believe it? So this- so- so he's taking care of not his son? Because he read that in a letter? I don't understand this note. I feel like there's a translation... ...issue here, possibly. And what's with the horned pig man? Yeah, like, it sounds like he's accusing her of cheating on him with Alberto, and there's a son... ...involved who may or may not be his. What's calling him the horned pig man have to do with anything? Yeah, he was infertile because they couldn't have kids. That's tri that's a good point. So why are they... Nobody believes that's my son, nobody, and I'm supposed to believe it? Like, I feel like this is just, a like, weirdly worded. Yeah, so he's... I guess he's just getting- he's hurt. So they're divorcing or whatever. I don't know what the hig- the- the hind- <laughs> horned pig man part is supposed to- Like, he's a butcher, so that's probably why they call him, like, something about, like, pig man. Like, cause he's- he's a butcher. 
But what does that have to do with any of this? Might be another translation error, but in a lot of cultures, a cuckold is pictured as horned. Ah, okay. Be that would make sense then, because calling him a cuck, like the cucked pig man. Okay, honestly, that puts it so much more into perspective. Okay, so so she she ended up having a child, and no one believes it's his. Okay, got it. See, one translation error kind of like <laughs> made it way more confusing than it should have. All right, sweet, thank you. Oh, hell yeah, crowbar. How many do I need? I have a whole bunch. Is there more? Warehouse key. Something about the horns of the cuckold and Shakespeare's Othello. I see, I see. So does that lead to the same hallway? Would it make sense? It does though. Maybe just a shortcut. Oh yeah, the warehouse door? Where was that? I don't know, but we got all these little doors now. The English 3 coming in handy the whole 17 years later. <laughs> I know, right? What would we do without that knowledge? I'd probably still be on that letter being like, what? You know, whenever teachers say like, hey, you never know, one day you're going to use this. It's like, well, I guess you're right. And it's for a horror game of all things. <laughs> What is it, little, little stink bug? How many billiards balls are there again? I haven't been counting, so I have no idea. Be cultured, else you'll never be lost alone. I mean, you could beat it, alright. You'll totally un won't understand the message. Or some shit. The damn kids kid puts his hands everywhere. He forced me electronically to close the bedside table, too. I swear, one of these days. Should I forget the code? I've hidden it behind the canvas. With a little acid, it will appear right away. Why? What if you forget where you put it with the acid? No one must access the contents of this bedside table. No one! I will mark the correct order of the numbers elsewhere. George... So where was the warehouse? 
Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, his head was spinning. This <laughs> fucking psycho. <laughs> spaghetti. Don't eat their spaghetti. I love you, Christina. I've loved you since. Oh, this is the letter. Oh no. I've loved you since the first moment I saw you. Let's run away together. Let's go somewhere else. Let's start a new life. I'll take care of Elsa, as I always have, and the baby. When he sees me, he's a little frightened, but as he grows, he will get used to my al al albinism. It's albino, right? I've never seen it right like that. Everyone gets used to it. Please, Christina, say yes. Let's run away together. Nothing can stop us. Forever yours, Alberto. Oh, we picked up a rose and a head. He didn't even have a head. Desk key? Who is the rabbit woman? It's probably Katrina. I found one of the books for a room I don't even remember. It's a hillbilly. <laughs> That's Alberto? <laughs> Please, Christine, I love you. Run away with me. <laughs> like the clown painting is behind him. I mean, are we really supposed to like feel sorry for him? We're a cuck because of him. He had a desk in Christina's office. Well, I don't have access to her office yet. So I don't know where the warehouse is. I guess it's to the left. Oliver, stop it. He's like, yes. <laughs> stop being so cute. You're making it hard to be mad at you. And you know, why you cry? Where was the warehouse? Like, it makes sense for it to be at the bottom. The what? Are you a little baby? Do we clap? That the daughter? I think that's supposed to be Elsa. Which is, uh, one of the children. I'm a bank ad. 
Books are through the red room. Yeah, I think so. I need like five of those. Okay, so I guess, wait, so the... I just don't know if we have access to Christina's room yet. So Alberto's a, hill a hillbilly. Is this enough for billiards balls? I feel like that's enough. Well, how many is it per side? It's like nine per side or whatever. Like, we have so many. It's like, I hope they don't expect us to find literally every ball like that exists in the game. But, I mean, I don't know. It makes sense, I guess. Because we have one, two, three, four. Five solids. One, two, three. Four, five. Or er, five stripes, six solids, and then the white ball. I hate the light in this game. This is like, at this point, it's so useless, but you have to wait for it to drain completely before you refill it. So is the warehouse down here then? Aha! A hundred movies to see. Clack. Miracle. Five years pass and everything changed. Wait, five years from what? Contrary to God's will and the knowledge of science, Christina became pregnant. With not our kid? On 30 September 1955, she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named her Elsa after George's mother. Okay, so this happened already. The couple was over the moon, but the joy didn't last long. Elsa was born with severe facial malformation, but this didn't stop her from pursuing her dreams and growing up in a happy environment. Oh, that makes sense, because her face was messed up in the dance parts. Had like a worm teeth thing going on. But for George, this was not enough. His depression came back. Before, he didn't feel man enough to have a child. Now, he didn't feel man enough to have a healthy son. Hate. In the life of his family, Alberta was added. The hillbilly? Alberta was a psychologist with Alberta. Albinism, who helped Elsa to accept herself. I don't know what albinism is. Albino, right? <laughs> this constant presence in the house was disliked by George. He's helping your daughter, George! And he loves your wife. <laughs> the family stability finally broke down when Christina became pregnant again! <gasps> that's... And then that's the... That's Alberto's kid. On July... Uh, 16, uh, 1965 she gave birth to a baby boy beautiful, healthy, strong, male baby boy who's male <laughs> but these characteristics and the divine miracle only made George sink deeper into his depression hereditary albinism? I guess so the man didn't accept the miracle the man didn't believe his wife the man was convinced he had been betrayed Okay, so he doesn't believe... I mean, we saw the letter by Alberto. I don't even want to look at him. Unless it's just a one-sided love. But he's your son, George. We have to give him a, him a name. 
You can call him Alberto, like his father. <laughs> I like how I'm trying to be dramatic. Wait, so is he Alberto's kid or not? Because I feel like the whole Alberto thing might be just a like a miscommunication. Like maybe the love from Alberto's is one sided and Christina's like, ew, get away. You know? I have no more inventory. Space. This book like blends in way too well. The lack of textures on them. Yeah, I really like the art style. Name him seven. Unwanted. <laughs> Call him big Dumbo poo poo. <laughs> Saw them crying. <laughs> Sorry, not to be dramatic. It is. It's like it's basically a so a soap opera right now. Call him Alberto, like his father. Please! He's your son! Like, really exaggerated arm movements. The fuck? Like, that is no son of mine! I don't ever want to see you again! As he points to her. I love... Oliver so much. I have to- he keeps like, scooching around. Not to be dramatic, but everything you've been told is a lie. Well, we don't know that. Scariest game I've ever played? Um, I don't know. I, I guess Visage. I don't particularly get scared by games like in the long run. Like, jump scares get me sometimes. I think the beginning of Episode one of this was very creepy. Yes, I believe this game was originally made in um, Italian, and then it um, got localized. Galarians. All right, well, we got a book. Wait, how many billiards balls are there total? Like nine or 16? Oh wait, every time Daddy sees Alberto, he gets angry and goes crying in his special room. Anyway, I don't think- okay, wait, 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 now, now we have new context for this. Anyway, I don't think Alberto will visit us again. Mom got so angry when she found out about Dad's man with a sack. I still don't know who Dad's man with a sack is. I feel like we should get some proper context with that. His special room. Can't wait to find out what that is. Is that Alberto? Did we like kill him and then hang him? And by we, I mean George. But the horse figure isn't- What? There's so many collectibles in this game. What horse figurines? We got a hand. Got the valve. No inventory space. Hey. The horse figurines in place? I don't know what they're talking about. Do they mean the skeleton? <laughs> I can't believe it! I can't believe George actually did it! This is definitely a nightmare. It can't be a reality. I am writing this letter as a testimony. If I disappear, I want George to tell his self to rot in jail. My husband killed Alberto! All because of his jealousy. He always suspected our son was the result of an affair with Alberto, but George never believed me. Now I'm afraid he'll hurt me and my little boy too, Christina. So it is a big misunderstanding. Oh, this is where they go. So there's four? Five? Well, I haven't even seen one. Got the music <laughs> reset. <laughs> um hand, I guess, in the book. Uh. 
Horned man's a monster and a beast. As in, like, puck, right? Oh god, where am I going next? Billiards room and then the valve, which is on the complete opposite side. I'm so happy they put item boxes everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So wait, how many are there in total? Sixteen? Someone said or fifteen? Dead by dawn. <laughs> so there's jaw, neck, skull, and left hand. And we got two books and three paintings. And we got Wait, still the warehouse? Why do we still have the door? I <laughs> don't do you like the screw? It's so loud. He's like, he he wants people to know he's freaking saving his game. I think Oliver's making noise it's freaking me the hell out. Oliver? <laughs> Alberto! Oh shit! <laughs> he went from crying to real mad real fast. Alright, now we got the goop gone. Back to the kitchen. Oh, there's another- how long is that keeping the acid and it's fine? <laughs> so who's the man with the sack? <laughs> Wait, is it over here? Oh, he's hitting me. <laughs> Why would he mean mental health? He was chopping me. Okay, wait, how do I hide? How do I make him stop chasing me? Oh, that got me too. I just didn't think you'd be there so fast. Okay. I like that they glow. How do I make him go away? Do I just can I just let him leave? Now he's not in the kitchen? A 
safe key. Wait, where's the safe? What safe? E to a safe. Stop. Why is my vision bad? Okay, wait, a safe? I still have the warehouse key. Is the safe? Wait. He's leaving. I mean, it's probably that. Yeah, I couldn't open this before. Fix up the warehouse skeleton. Oh, there's a horse figurine. Alberto's corpse. Oh, and that helps push him. Elsa's room. I must find a safe beach. I am mired, mired like cats in mud. My madame no longer looks at me as she used to, and I've become a lonely man with a cigar. I am a gray man. All that echoes in my mind are my father's words to my son. Grandpa loves you. George. George has gone insane. Okay, wait, hold on. Those are all paintings. Safe beach. Cats. Madame. Man, cigar, gray man. God, I really hate how this lasts like five seconds. Grandpa loves you, chat. Didn't I have a hand? I don't know how far he can go. I guess the hand was already attached, but doesn't doesn't look like it did. Do you see what happened? I have I had Elsa's key in my inventory. Oh, my webcam's kind of covering it. I have Elsa's key in my inventory, but I think he went to go check it, and he opened the door, and the key left my inventory. You probably couldn't couldn't can't see because my webcam's covering it. That was so weird. Like I watched it disappear out of my inventory the second I heard him open it. Interesting. So that means he's in there and I need to be in there. Great. I think his hand is clipping. Speed runs through. I mean, I guess so. 
Damn, I wish my webcam wasn't covering it so you guys could have seen that. Well, I guess maybe that's what happened with Christina. That totally happened. You don't believe me? You're just as bad as George with this whole Christina dra uh, drama. Hey, Oliver. Mom screams. One week has passed. Some gentlemen came to pick up Elsa. Mom was very vague about where they took her. I hope she comes back soon. I miss my sister. Dad is getting weirder and weirder. There's something different about him. His eyes are dull. He still won't speak to me. I'm getting more and more worried. It's just regular Coke. I thought that was an eyeball. Looks like a controller. So many. I <laughs> have so many healing items. <laughs> Alright, well I need to get that book again. Here, I'm gonna put book in Elsa's room because I'm not going to be going through what I did with um Martian Gothic. Oh, it's a hand! I know inventory is and hand! Hand. <laughs> Actually, here, I can go pick them up right now. Coca Zola. The Coca Zola flavor, yeah, sorry, my bad. I keep thinking that's him. Oh, we can put a horse figure in here. Well, hold on. Wait, what? What is wrong with me? Oh, the horses stack. I was wondering. Okay. And then I would have room for the hand. Oh, Auntie. Hi, Ducky. Okay, now I can cross these off. Yeah, I went through some shit with Martian Gothic where... I died, and I had to go find a book, and I thought I had the book. But <laughs> I knew it! One of these days you're gonna get me, you fuck! That's why I kept making faces at him, because I knew one day <laughs> he was gonna do that. Anyway. Marsha Gothic sucks. Hey, look at him go! Thank you. Suspended Grace. Okay, now we have five of those. I don't know where to put those. I don't remember what room. Did that guy put in work? Thanks, bud. What you fucking think about it? Where's the safe? Let's put the book away. Maybe the book and the key card are right next to you. <laughs> anyway, they were, yeah. They were basically in, in plain sight. Like, I didn't actually get them. And I was not about to go through the same thing with this game.
So where... Find the code behind the paintings? I don't remember what room had the painting lots. Here's where the books are. Dude, they really just want me to outrun the enemies, don't they? Oh, literally just in the hallway. Put the pictures of demons in their place. Literally right outside of the store. <laughs> Child's room key. Wait, and then the books? I think I have all five books now as well. I have four. Shit. <laughs> so loud. Okay, wait, child's room is over here somewhere. Are you gonna be in it? Is it friendly in here? I'll just read this. This is a long, this is a long chapter, you guys. The following day, Kanzo returned to the foot of the suspension bridge in the presence of the Hell Demon, restless for his return. Between tears, the man handed the bloodied heart to Genpaku. The demon brought the heart close to the hollows on his face that once housed a nose. Doesn't look child friendly. <laughs> it's pretty shit falling over the place. Bye, Fumuro. I'm gonna chug the energy drink like it's a sponsored stream. I'm sponsored by this weird blue energy juice. Speaking of... <sighs> you have proved yourself a person worthy of great decisions. You made the right choice. Kanzo knew he would not deceive the demon, and he knew even better that he could never kill the only woman who had ever loved him. The demon uttered his last words before disappearing. You sacrificed Yoko. That was the only true way to obtain her heart. You preferred to preserve the lives of those who love you by sacrificing a soul as black as the lotus that blooms at the end of the suspended bridge. You are one of us, Kanzo. Your soul will be suspended, and in due time, you too will be a demon. The demon of purgatory. You will spend eternity deciding who deserves a second chance. <gasps> that would be a fun job. I do too. <laughs> the rare blue energy sponsor. Yeah, it's just, wait, do we have a brand? I'll check the brand. Concluding the sentence, Genpaku disappeared forever. Kanzo ended his life peacefully by dying at the age of 114. His earthly life ended on 14 June 1647, but his soul remained suspended eternally as a purgatory demon. Is dead? Energy drink. <laughs> Is dead. <laughs> You know, I freaking knew that was going to happen because I'm like, the music stops. Something's going to happen. So I, that didn't even get me. That's why I stopped. I'm like, all right. Oh, the safe. A gold lighter. <laughs> Rude. That's pretty rude. There's a lot of rude creatures in this. Hold on. 
It's kind of annoying your your oil drains when you read a letter even. My baby, mommy loves you so or loves you very much. When you find this letter, if you find it, I will no longer be here, but not by my will. You are still too young to understand, but one day everything will be clearer to you. If you are reading these words, please run away. Since Elsa left, your father hadn't been himself. He could hurt you, and I will no longer be there to defend you. Your mother has not abandoned you. Tonight, 12th October, 1972, I will try to contact someone for help. These words, you will only read them in case something goes wrong. I'm guessing something went wrong. Have you played this? This came out, um, like two weeks ago. Like this particular chapter. Honestly, that kind of just seems like a pretty common jump scare. Is that a mirror? Grandpa loves you. That's not Grandpa. Gold lighter? Makes a strange blue flame. Oh, fuck. What do I use with the blue flame? I remember reading about the blue flame and it was a big deal. Okay, I think that's the last billiard ball. Crawling zero is crawling under a bookcase. I feel like... Again? What's that one game? Watch you have the painting room? Because Grandpa loves you, Pigeon. <laughs> oh my god. I think it just crawled in my butt. Uh-oh. That's... That's little messed up ghosts, even for ghosts. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, shit. I'm thinking of a horror game. Was it Home Sweet Home Chapter 1? Because I think you're crawling under, like, bookshelves or, some, or like, lockers in that, like, exactly like this. And then there's, like, a, a girl in a school uniform that jumps at you. Is that what you're thinking of, D-Tune? That's what I'm thinking of right now. What am I doing? Okay, hold on, wait. Is this my last billiards ball that I need? Oh, is that actually open? Okay, that opened that, which gave me the book. Now I have enough books. They need to do something to balance how long it takes. Uh, or how long oh, the oil lamps last. Oh, is that for the... Oh, that's what I needed. Okay. <gasps> the blue flame. Okay, so now that should open up the other room? Because of the blue flame? Because that's like what the whole point of the red room was or whatever. Whatever kind of bullshit. No, Sweet Home is a Nintendo game. Home Sweet Home is a really bad horror game. <laughs> that doesn't open. Anything else we're supposed to do here? I don't have any other keys. And I don't have the code for... for this yet. I feel like I missed something. 
Make red room and red room identical. I know, but I can't go into the other room. Because, like, the only difference is the, the blue flame. I'm thinking maybe, like, one of the books or something is unopened. Oh, I can jump! Whoa, these are... Just jump! I'm using all my stamina. I mean, it looks the same to me! I can't jump at the table. Everything looks the same now, though. The books are closed, the cabinets are closed, all of them. The blue flame. Like, I'm thinking a code pops up or something. Maybe I just don't have the thing for it. Because it's all exactly the same. Candle is lit, yeah. Yeah, but like, the- it seems like the only thing they mention is the blue flame. Like, they want the two rooms identical, don't forget to light the fireplace with the heirloom. Yeah, maybe, maybe it unlock now? Cause like, I don't know, I'm... With puzzle games like this, when you solve the puzzle, I'm always expecting like, some noise to happen like... Oh, something got unlocked. I don't know. Maybe it's just something I don't have yet. Cabin is open? Which one? None of them look open. Oh, this one. Oh, that was- that was my fault. Okay, wait, yeah. Cause I- I read- I went to read the note again. I forgot to close it. But they were all closed last time. I don't know. No, there's no picture. Find the code behind the paintings. Wait a minute. Paint.
Behind the paintings would be this, but there's no code. See, now it looks like it's lit, but I don't know if it's supposed to be. I have no idea. Behind the canvas with a little... Acid. So I need to find acid first. I mean, I found- I had acid. Wait, whose bedside table? I don't know, but like... I know I really could use that sink acid. Because like, interacting with these... Don't do anything. Yeah, maybe I have to put the horse figurines first, and then that's how you get the acid or something. But I don't have all of them. I think I'm... I think I need five, and I only have three or four. Doesn't open. The acid in the bathroom? Just crowbat the- crow Yeah. Crowbar it open. You know, I would if I could. Okay. There has to be something else you could do with the lighter, though, because I can still use it. But, like, this game's pretty good with, like, if they want you to use... something on something. Then, um... Then, uh, it just uses it. It doesn't ask you to, like, go in your inventory first. Oh, this is only four. Okay, I assumed one goes there. So wait, there's one more horse figurine? Aw, oh, shit, that could be anywhere. Wait. I only have three, so I need one more. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> no, where is it? It could be anywhere.
Yeah, maybe we have to unlock it and light it too. Yeah, that's true. It might just be a window, not... Or a mirror, not a window. But... But I don't, I don't know how to unlock it. The only thing... The only thing that seemed to have mattered, like, via text was... Um, the blue flame, and I did that. that before wait a minute i dev okay wait, wait wait what triggered to make the numbers appear because i've definitely opened these books before and nothing I i've opened the books and we've never seen the numbers before did i do this before i had all the billiards balls maybe that made the difference six one four nine seven okay so that has to be this no, it wasn't the fire, because the fire was... That was the first thing we did. It, ha it had to have been getting all the balls for this. Never mind, it's not. Okay, what's that code for? <laughs> Wait, where's... Oh, this. Oh, is it for this? 6-1... I forgot that had a thing. Was that the acid? Can be used to burn the paintings. So like, just burn them? Like these paintings? Or are we talking about like the... the beach one? The cats in mud one? Wait, which one was that one? Birds abandoned to destiny? That's not... That's not one of the ones I had to burn! <laughs> Bye alert! Oh, okay, wait, 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 cats... Cats is zero. So I guess we could just burn all of them, but only the specific ones have the numbers. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so beach, man with cigar, madame, and gray man. Start throwing acid at random paintings. <laughs> well, I hope it's not, like, limited. This is cool. I actually really like this game's puzzles. Okay, um, I don't think there wasn't one in here. I know some are on the other side, and I'm very not looking forward to that. Which one is this one? I wish I could, like, read them before I actually just, like, start destroying these paintings. Wait, which one is this one? Gray man. Yeah, fuck these paintings. I wish I could do this to the first game's... Paintings. Scary as shit. Oh man, where was the man with cigar? I just remember memeing about that one. Okay, so now we have something about a beach. One well, reminds me of David Lynch. <laughs> Sorry, David. 
Which one is it? I mean, I, if I could, like, inspect it before I throw acid at it, because it says examine, but when I do, it's just acid. Is there one in here? Which one is this? Grandpa loves you. Wait, Grandpa loves me. No one said anything about Grandpa. But he's eight. I just wrote down eight, Grandpa. Because the note said nothing about Grandpa. Oh, man, do I have to... Shit. Where is he? I just see a shadow. Go away! Is he just gonna stand there? Yes, yeah, toppled bookcase is actually great now. Thanks, bookcase. You want to pour acid on Alberto? Go away! Well, he, if he keeps going to the side... Hey, you dumb bitch. Go away, my god. <laughs> He's stuck. Okay. Is that the beach one? Okay, beach is three. Beach is three. Cigar is five. So where's the madame one? Probably in this room. That was kind of tense, dealing with him. Mm 
for okay so we have the numbers so so that's that's for what about number eight though Okay. Okay, so now do I know the numbers? So is it... Three zero is, is are they five digits? Three zero. Yeah, maybe one's just there to trick you. Five seven. Uh. What are the or what's the order? Oh, fuck you! What if I didn't save my game? <laughs> oh my god, what was the order? I wrote it down. Beach, cats, madame, no cigar agreement. Was there- did I not, not write down the grandpa part? Where am I? <laughs> was the grandpa- because uh, grandpa's an eight, but I don't know- Did I- I I know Grandpa was last. Are you sure? Cause I I just don't. I I have Gray Man written last. Grandpa loves you. That's how it's ended. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I forgot. You guys are so much smarter than me. Shit, you went through the door! That's cheating! You're cheating! You're going through the billiard table! What the fuck? This game sucks. This sucks. That's such bullshit! You're an asshole! Hi, Fillmore! Thank you for the raid! Have you played Lost Alone? Hello, welcome. I'm playing Lost Alone. I'm getting scammed because this this guy you haven't you should they're they're mostly just walking sims with puzzles but i think you should give it a shot village village in vr was that that your first time playing was it fun okay so eight is last okay zero three zero four five seven eight Yes! There it is! Okay, wait, no, this sucks, because now he's over there. Did I see the baby clip? I did not. I'll have to. Wait, did he despawn?
Hey, it's the body for. Oh my god, it's the body from the beginning. All right, hold hold on to that clip. I'll have to. In 1970, every parent's nightmare happened. While Elsa was playing hide and seek with her brother, the little girl went into hiding in the cold room. Uh oh. Britney Spears. The electronic door which prevented the coal from dispersing jammed during a power failure. <gasps> no, this is so sad. By the time the child found his sister, it was too late. From that moment on, George was changed forever. Not only had he lost his daughter, but he hated her because she was all formed. It was the fault of a child born of a betrayal. No, it wasn't! <laughs> It's a cover, so I guess that's their workaround. I don't know. Christina did everything she could to protect her son. I hate the son. But on the night she planned to escape, George broke into her room. He hated the daughter, too, because she was deformed and it was hard for him to love her. You betrayed me, Christina. You betrayed me with Alberto. I didn't cheat on you. Alberto was obsessed with me, but there was never anything. I knew it! You are a filthy lying bitch. Please, George, stop. This guy sucks. But George didn't stop. Brandishing his cleaver, he hurled himself at his love and without any mercy. He tore his son's mother to pieces. Justice? Fortunately, justice was not long in coming. The police raided the butcher's house before he could kill the child, too. It took four policemen to play, play St. George. Placate? Like the only animation in these freaking cutscenes. The little boy was taken away from the house of horrors. horrors. The social workers decided to entrust him to his only living relative, Elsa, his paternal grandmother. The hard sea. Okay. What should we call him? Did they name him George? And then that's what happens. Oh, I don't even want to look at him. But he's your son, George. We have to give him a name. You, you could call him Alberta like his father. So is he George and that's who is in episode one? Don't be like that. I have a name in mind. What would you like to call him? Like his real father. George. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. So this that's the son is the son is the guy from episode one. So so we played as the son and now we're playing as the dad. So I guess psych psychoness runs in this guy's family. Christine, oops, don't the hop. Christina's corpse. Corpse. I shall call him Mini Me. Makes sense. Yeah, because I was wondering. Because I'm like, none of this makes sense timeline wise. Or if like the second game takes place in '94. Jump for joy. <laughs> so, so our son had a drinking problem, and we have a murdering problem. Yeah, I hope so. It's like I was just gonna say, like it's it's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> But all the Georges in the family. Alright, I gotta watch this baby clip. Babysitting with Failmore. Ah, get it off. <laughs> Wait. Uh, dare, dare. <laughs> Holding the baby like a pizza box. It's okay. I just... It's, no, it's okay. I'm patting you. <laughs> They're there. They're there. <laughs> I feel like, look at. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to hold babies that way. There. 
<laughs> Babysitting this day on that. I don't think you're supposed to be holding babies like that, but I'm no expert. I've, I don't hold babies either. It was scary for the baby. <laughs> I know, it's stuck to your hands like Velcro or something. Like, holding the baby by its leg just so you could read chat. Maybe episode one, George drinks to forget. Maybe. I mean, this could be, like, any reason for him. Christina's body. My mom. That baby, it was me. Oh. So we're playing as... Oh, so the butcher's dad. We're playing as... We're still playing as the same George. Okay, I get it. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're still playing as the same George, but the Butcher's our dad. Well, that's scary. What's our objective now? Freaking not die. I haven't played Edith Finch. I was still never able to go in that room. I do have to play Edith Finch though. I own it. I've been meaning to, but it's just one of those games. I don't know. <sighs> oh, these are the four demons? Well done, dear George, well done. You are now able to remember your past. All the events, traumas, bereavements, choices, and mistakes that led you to the death of Laura and Hannah. We aren't surprised that you are an alcoholic. I mean, after that, sure. Dad tried to kill you. But we are not done with you yet. Your journey is halfway over and you will still have to do things to please us. These words may sound incomprehensible to you. Soon you will understand. We will come back for you, George. And when that happens, your last journey will begin. See you soon, the four demons. Cool. So that's the end of chapter two. That one was way shorter. This is cool, though. I'm, I'm glad that we did end up following the same person. Oh. Well done, everyone! We did it! There's only two chapters available so far. And it seems like th there were six months between them. So we'll probably have to wait another six months for episode three. But I'm excited! I'm definitely gonna be keeping up with this, for sure. We beat three games today on stream. So the cops left, George Sr. Oh, leave. George Sr. keep his wife's corpse, it was just in George Jr.'s head. I I assume he pro- uh, George Jr. probably did see the corpse. And that is partially why he's so traumatized. Well, thank you, Aaron. Six months feels like one week. Hey, six months from now, I'll be like, well, be like November. Yeah, these games are well done. I like that they're not trying to like preach anything like about mental illness or trauma or anything. It's just kind of like sharing this dude's story about trauma. Hey, we're back in Laura's room.
just like that. Very disappointed over the lack of posters in this one. Yeah, no fun friends or Xeno posters. Game is over, yes. <laughs>